In this video, we will learn how to work with the random module in Python, how we can import it in a Python program, and uh, how we can work around its functions. Let's begin. So, if you want to generate or form random numbers, you can use the built in module random, okay, which is provided by Python. Through this, you can also generate random numbers between a range. So, to import uh, random module in Python, you can write import space random in the beginning of your Python program. Therefore, after importing random like this, after importing random, you will be able to access all the functions provided by the random module. Here you can see some primary functions of random module, random, randint, choice and rand range. Let's see how we can work with them. Here is our PyCharm ID, create a new project, file new project, name the project, click on create. We have created our project, let us create our first program, demo press enter. First we will see how to work with the random function in python. The random function is used to return a random float number between 0 and 1. Ok, it's very easy, at first import random module. Let me create an alias for it, let's say rd. So now I need to just use rd instead of the complete text random. So I'll just print the random number between 0 and 1, 0.0 and 1.0, rd.random, that's it and run it. And here you can see we generated a random number. When you will run it again, it will generate another number random. Here it is. So in this way, you can work around the random function to return a random floating number between 0 and 1. Okay, now let us see our second program. Our second program will be randint function. The randint function is used to return a random number between the given range. Let's say we need to generate a random number between 5 and 10, we can do it using the randint function. Ok, let's see. First we will import, import random as, we have used as to create an alias, rd. Now we need to use only rd text instead of random. So I'll just print using the, so I'll just display random numbers in a range using the randint function rd dot randint and within that at both the values let's say I told you 5 and 10 right click and run it generated 6 remember that both these values are inclusive so the output can be 5 or 10 let me add more uh, let's say I'll just add 7 and 20 let's see what will be the random number you can see it's 20 now and for first it's 10 so I told you both are inclusive so it can be 5 or 10, 7 or 20 also. We ran again and, and here are the random numbers. The choice method in python random module is used to return a random element from the given sequence. Ok, so here in the sequence can be a string, a tuple, a list, a range. Okay, I'll be using a list. Let me import random dot as uh, let's say I created RDS alias. Now I've created a list. This is the string list. Let me add values. So I added 5 string elements, I'll print the list first. Now what I need to do, I need to work around the choice method to return a randomly selected element from the specified sequence. Here is our sequence. So a random value will get generated. Let's say how I'll just use rd, that means random dot uh, choice method. And within that, I'll add the sequence. You can see the syntax also. Okay, so I'll add the sequence, which is list in this case, right click and run. Now you can see it generated amit randomly, when I'll right click again, it will generate mark. So in this way we generated, we generated random element from a given sequence, in this case it was a list. You can work around this method on your, 
on string and even tuples. Let's see a last example. Rand range method. Let me import random module as rd which is our alias. The rand range method is used to return a random number between the given range. So herein I'll use the rd dot rand range and within that I'll be adding the I'll be adding the elements between which we want a random number to be generated. With that you can also add a step here. Step is a parameter is an integer specifying the incrementation. Okay, let me run it like this only. So between 5 and 10 a random number will get generated. This is inclusive so the output can be 5 or 10 for random numbers. Let me add a step for it. Okay, so default is 1 I'll add 2. Okay, so right click and run. Node output is 9. Again run again it's 5. So this is a step that is an integer specifying the incrementation. Between 5 and 10 we have added increment 2 that means the output can be 5, 7 and 9. 5, 7 or 9 nothing else because we added a step. Here you can see 7 again. So through this you can work with the rand range method and add a step also. In this video we saw how we can work with the random module in python. How we can import it and, and we also saw how to work with some of its primary methods. Thank you for watching the video.